Hello guys, Sadasaurus here again, and welcome to the 12W23B snapshot update for Minecraft. Yes, I said 23B because 23A had a few bugs in it, and within 30 minutes, Jeb made a part B to it. So, yes, hopefully we don't have to go to a part C very soon. But this update has about 6 or so updates. Uh, isn't It isn't that big compared to the other snapshot updates, but still I decided to show it either way. So the first thing here, if you go to creative mode and you go to decoration blocks, we have a new one called the end portal. Now, it's pretty much just, you know, you place the end portal anywhere you want. However, I do want to point out that it does not make the end. Like I did the exact same 3x3, you know, right here. Put eyes of ender in them and no portal whatsoever. So it's pretty much just for decoration purposes. You can just stack them, have these little gaps in there. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's it's just for decoration purposes and it's not really meant for practical usages. If you want to have the nether or the ender portal wherever you want, uh, too many items will still be your best bet. So the next thing I want to talk about real fast. Let's see, it's tripwire. So. Tripwire has two new updates. I'm going to show the other one over there with that redstone or the redstone lamp. What am I talking about? <laughs> but um, when you place tripwire or string on grass, you know how tiny it looks, the little hitbox. However, when you place on TNT, leaves, pistons, any form of pistons, up, down, side, or <laughs> sticky, etc., uh, you can definitely tell the hitboxes are like way bigger and also they're kind of hovering more than the ground version arm. So either way, that's pretty much it on this part, but I do want to show the other one. So if I go over here, I can fly. Um, tripwire has been extended to 40 blocks in length. So if I walk over here, you can tell it works. And all the way to this first one right here, this right here is 40 blocks. Now if I break this and make it a 41 block, you'll see that it will not connect. So even if I, like, let's destroy this and place it back, not gonna work. See? Nothing. Oh, actually, that may help. Nope, nothing. <laughs> I was just playing around with you guys, yeah. Um, this right here is 41 blocks, right there is 40, and yeah. If it's 41 or higher, good fight. So the next thing I want to talk about, let's see, I'm gonna get my boat. My boat. There we go. So boats have finally been fixed in single player, and I'm going to show it right here. So uh, when you get on a boat, it's going to act just before um, snapshot number, I forgot which one it was, but basically ever since they made clients and server reliable to each other, or like you had to use a server client to play single player, which was stupid, uh, they changed the boat accidentally. So um, now boats, boats are back to normal. And I'm not sure if it accelerates faster than it used to, but I, it, it accelerates back to the way it was at least. So, breaking the boat. Yeah. <laughs> so the next thing we'll talk about real fast. I come over here. I got my bow out. I think I already have arrows. No, I don't have arrows. Oh, but I fire fake arrows in creative mode. That's right. So let me just fire some fake arrows and it'll still work. So, um... Pressure plates are now triggered by arrows. Of course, I can't pick up this particular arrow. So, um, here, let's go to game mode. Oh, actually, let me spawn myself some arrows first. There we go. Put that there. Now, I could go to game mode. Game mode zero. Okay, so the same thing here. Arrows trigger pressure plates now. And, of course, if I pick it up, I can actually, you know, untrigger it. But, yeah, just a neat little feature if you ever want to use it in a custom app or something. Bam! <laughs> okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is XP. Now, XP has been changed to, was it 825 XP or experience orbs in order to get a 30? As you know in the last update, if you didn't watch my video, or if you haven't really been paying attention to the snapshot updates, um, enchantment tables now have a, well, the max level you can use is level 30. And you only need one row uh, or one was a set of bookcases like this, so you know you don't have to have two stacks. But let me go over here. I think I forgot an item to enchant. Actually, I don't have to really show the enchanting thing. You guys understand? Oh, I do have something. Okay, I think I mentioned this in the other one, but it will be capped at thirty, regardless of how many books you have, um, and the good items will always be at thirty. So in this update, we have uh, experience orbs 
or how I experience orbs. Experience. To, in order to get a 30, you're going to need 825 experience. I'm not sure if it's experience orbs, bottle of enchanting, but we're going to find out right now. So we're going to do a few bottle of enchanting tests. I have a few stacks of 64, and let's see if we can get to 30 within like one stack of 64. As you see here, I'm on like level 20. That's crazy. No more grinding. Okay, so 24 got me 22. So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 9, whatever. I'm just gonna spam it until I get a 30. Okay, I think I'm about to pass it. There we go. I'm almost there, and it looks like it takes 64 plus 54. I think. I think that was right. 54 plus 64. So if I if I get the calculator, I'll put it up on the screen right about now, how much it will take. But yeah, it takes that many experience orbs or ex <laughs> vials of enchanting to um get to it. Bottles of enchanting, what am I talking about? And that's pretty much it. This snapshot was very small. Um, the other thing which was very minor, which I knew it was going to be removed in the next snapshot. When you click F, you no longer have that little flashy seizure procedure. <laughs> Uh, that was just meant for debugging, and to be honest, it was kind of pointless. Like, just to ref refresh the chunks. Yay, I totally want to lag when that happens. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I think I've covered everything. If there's something new, uh, don't forget to check the wiki. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, it would be awesome if you guys left a rating. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button for daily Minecraft videos. And other than that, guys, I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.